Welcome to our very short video on how to load drivers during the Windows install process. Not afterwards, not after Windows is running, but beforehand. Now in our case, we have a brand new Dell 5440 Latitude laptop, and we've replaced the solid state drive in it. We've downloaded Windows 11, and now there are two problems we're going to have. One, it's going to ask for drivers for the hard drive controller. In this case, we there are two solutions. One, we can do what we're going to do, which is just download the Intel RAID driver from Dell. And that will take care of that easy one. That's a pretty straightforward one. Another option on that, by the way, would be to go into the BIOS and simply set it to AHCI, set the hard drive to AHCI rather than RAID. But we'll leave it as RAID. So let's deal with that first. And the second problem, which is much more difficult, but easy for you to get through when you see it, is how to load the Wi-Fi drivers or the wired network drivers. And you might say, well, why do I care about that? Because Windows 11, and I think Windows 10 as well now, will not continue its install without connecting to the network. It will just stall. We'll show you that. Okay, so first thing, let's go get the Intel RAID drivers. We'll show you how to load that. So in my case, I've got a Dell 5440. I'm just going to search for Dell Latitude 5440 drivers. And it's in this case, it's the first hit, which is nice. Find drivers, click the drop down and select drivers again, because you haven't done it enough times. Type in RAID in this case. Scroll down and you will find the Intel Rapid Storage, Te Storage Technology Driver application. That's what we're looking for here. So download it. Make sure you've got a USB stick plugged in, which I do. Select Open File. And we don't want to install, we want to extract. In our case, I want to go to my USB stick. I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call RAID Driver. Click OK and it will extract into there. Let's just take a quick look at it because we need to locate the, the specific location of the driver. So RAID driver, it's in production, Windows 10, Windows 11, same thing. The number, drivers, very clever, huh? It's in VMD. What we're looking for is the INF file and the sys files. Those are the drivers. While we're here, we're going to grab the wired and wireless network drivers. So let's do that. We'll go here and we'll go to Wi-Fi, scroll down. And this gets a little confusing. What driver? See, this is firmware, that's firmware. Is it the Bluetooth driver? Probably not. It's probably this one here that's labeled Wi-Fi. So let's download it. We'll do the same thing again. We will extract it rather than install it. Extract, make new folder, Wi-Fi 1. And you'll see why I call it Wi-Fi 1 in a second. It's because I, I'm going to download other ones as well. This will take a minute or two to complete the, its extraction. Uh, but what we're looking for is where is it again? So Wi-Fi 1, production, just 1064, who cares what it's called, zero. Okay, just finished, that's great. Zero, drivers, drivers again, boy, that's long. And you'll see here, there's INF and, I, and sys files. That's what we're looking for. To make this easier, I'm going to grab that folder. You don't have to do this. You can rem remember that whole path, but I don't want to. So I'm gonna grab that whole folder, I'm going to right click on it, select copy. I'm going to go right back to the root and I'm going to create a new folder here called Wi-Fi 2. Doesn't make any difference. You can call it anything you want. And I'm just going to paste this guy in. That will just make it easier in the future. You do not have to do this step. Now let's do the same thing for another one of these Wi-Fi drivers, which is this one, because I really don't know which one it is and I doubt you'll know which one it is. So let's go to download and Open. Wireless LAN. There we go. There's some more drivers. So I'm going to grab this WLAN folder, copy it. You do not have to do this. You can type out this whole path. I just don't want to. I want to save a step. So I'm going to right click here, new. I'm going to call this Wi Fi free. Paste that in. So I know that I have to go into Wi-Fi 2 and Wi-Fi 3 to try to find the drivers. Let's go try this out. Okay, so I've taken our USB stick and inserted it. And now we click load driver down here. Click browse. Find the USB stick, which in my case is the showing as a C drive. I put things in the RAID driver folder. So we just have to keep expanding it till we get down to the actual driver. It will not search the whole folder. You've got to find it itself. Let's go down to drivers. 
I think it's in VMD if I'm not mistaken. There it is, look at that. There's the RAID controllers. Click next on this and see if it finds the drive. If it doesn't, we'll choose the other controller. There, it found it, there's the one terabyte drive. Okay, let's click next and continue through. Okay, we're going to continue here until it says that you have to be on the network. And you'll see that Windows 11, the fall version of Windows 11 and 2023, does not have the drivers for either the wired or for the Wi-Fi. And that is going to be literally a showstopper. So how do you load Windows drivers during the install process? We'll show you that in just a second. All right, so I'm in Canada. So I have to go find Canada in here. And yes, it's important to get your correct region. Otherwise, things like the store don't work and you end up in sort of a hellscape. So choose your correct country. Now I'm in hell. Look, no back, no forward, no skip. I'm stuck. How do I get around this? Well, I'm going to need to load network drivers during the Windows 11. In this case, it could be Windows 10, but Windows 11 install. What you do is you press shift on your keyboard plus F10. Now, in my case, it's a laptop, so I'm going to have to press shift plus function plus F10. And that's going to pop up a little command window. And that is where we're going to load it. Your USB stick will be the D drive. So click in the window with your mouse and then go to D and take a directory. And there's the drivers that we loaded earlier. The question is, what's the command? Now I have a little text file called instra and there is the command PNP util add driver. And what you want to be is in the folder that has the driver you're looking for. So I'm going to copy that just so I don't have to type it later. So control C, go back here and I'm going to go to Wi-Fi 2, OCD drivers. Now I can just control V, paste that in. And I don't even need the whole path here. I can just get rid of this, make it really easy. Just PNP util slash add driver slash star dot INF. And it's gonna load all the drivers that are in this folder. Look at that. Now, as I said, I don't really know which driver was which, so I'm gonna load a bunch of drivers so I don't have to do this over and over again. And I also downloaded the wired drivers. And there are the drivers. And again, I'll just use that same command. So hopefully this will load the wired drivers and the wireless drivers. Okay, so that's that. We can just close this. We don't need it anymore. We can close this. We don't need it anymore. Now, how do you get this to restart? There's no refresh on that. Well, pretty straightforward actually. Pull your USB stick out because you don't need it anymore. And power it off. You think, well, if you power it off, you're gonna lose everything. Nope, you just added the drivers to the install. So let's, I'm just pressing and holding the power button and it will eventually power off. 10 seconds, there it's off. Let's press the power button, power it back up. Yep, it remembered Canada. Look at that. It found the wireless, isn't that nice? Select connect, next. Bingo, so that is how you load drivers, any kind of driver, during the Windows install process. And we'll just continue and finish off our install now. Pretty straightforward. So if you found this video useful, please give us the big thumbs up. We would really appreciate it. If you have any questions or concerns, you can get a hold of us directly at www.urtech, that's www.urtech.ca, or you can leave a question or a comment below. And by the way, subscribe is also always appreciated. So thank you very much for watching and have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.